Hey y'all, this is Kiana coming at y'all today. Um, y'all was just keep me wondering where I was at. So I'm finally here. I had to go take Pootie to get his shots. And um, we went to the Chinese um, uh, buffet place. And they be weighing your food if you want to go. So I got me some. And I love, I love, I love, love, love these. These shrimp toast. Oh my god. And this is a small one, y'all. So I got that and I got some um some crabs from them and an egg roll and all of this stuff. Anyway, I'm coming on to all today with the rest of the housewives um stuff that I was talking about the other day. So if you haven't saw um if you haven't seen my housewives video um of Atlanta, then um go back and I think it's like six videos ago that's part one this is part two so if you don't watch that video you'll be kind of lost because I was already talking about a few um, now I'm gonna tell y'all that I don't watch them all the time but I'm gonna tell y'all this is like unlike a lot of people been doing videos on you know what's going on in the show this gonna be different because I ain't never heard nobody do this on YouTube but I'm gonna tell y'all why I don't watch them all the time because I be getting a little attitude once I watch them for a while. And then um, once I watch them for a while, I get a little attitude, right? Because they just hurt me to the fullest, right? So, I'm going to tell y'all why they hurt me and who hurts me the most. Now, we already talked about the egg um, pregnant girl, okay? Egg shaped pregnant girl. And we already talked about candy. And her snooty, um, dear face mother. We talked about, um, we branched off and talked about Tiny, even though she ain't a housewife. So we're going to talk about the other housewife, the white. Yeah, I call him the other housewife. Why I call him that? Because he coming for y'all job, that's why. Okay, Candy, y'all, y'all about to be booted off. Because y'all about to be booted off the island because the white is coming for your job. Okay, the white want to be a housewife so bad. It's ridiculous. Let's start with the white nose. That's an entity on its own. Okay. Who would make you and what will make you after already seeing how Michael Jackson went too far? What would make you want to go get your nose pinched to the point where it looked like you got a clothes pin on top of it? I just want to know. I just want to know where they do that at, first of all. And then second, I want to know um, why they do that. And then we're going to even say a third. And then third, we're going to say, um, you must be damn near retarded. Because it's no way possible that you think that's desirable. No way possible. Okay. Now, I will tell you this. Okay. The white wears some bomb suits for free. Okay, so whoever, you know, doing his suits or whatever, they doing some bomb suits. Now, they're about an inch too high at the bottom, I think. And I always believe a man's pants leg should, should fall at a certain place. But y'all know he light as a feather. So, y'all know he got a little bit more than a cup of sugar in his tank. So, I guess they wear their pants a little different. Anyway. And it ain't even about the gay fact because I want to tell y'all the truth. I got to have one or two gay men up in my life. I have to. Okay. That's that's my stuff right there. Okay. Because I got to have them because of fashion tips for one. For two, I, I, they the, oh my goodness. I'm not trying to be stereotypical or anything, but they are the funniest people that you actually have physical contact with on earth. And I say that because we'll have contact with... Jamie Foxx and, and Kevin Hart and all of them, but I do have a couple of um, gays that's just as fun and just as funny as them, so I got to have a couple of Dwight's up in my life. Now, I don't like the fact that Dwight is coming for people's job, for one, because that's what he's doing. They try to take the attention off of them. You're not even a housewife. You're not even in the ballpark, first of all, okay? You're not a housewife, a housemaid, a house trick you ain't none of that you ain't even none of that so i don't even know why you on here okay uh who else who else can i um, tackle the stream beam i don't know 
Um, don't really care. Don't even remember her. Uh, she probably nice. I'm not gonna say that because, like, again, I don't even. She's so like obsolete that it doesn't even matter. She doesn't even matter. She's not even in the equation. Now she got the meanest walk. You know what I'm saying? And the husband. I love uh, a man that's mature, meaning mature in his age, but he keep his beard and everything, the gray coming in, tight to death. And he is definitely that. So, yeah, I, I remember him more than her. He need to be a housewife because I don't, I don't remember her. Okay. Uh, who else? Uh, Party Girl, Candy. Horse, horse face Sheree. Alright, who done told Sheree that she don't look like a transvestite? Please tell me, because I need to know. Because Sheree, she ain't big and ain't got like broad shoulders or nothing like that. Um, she got a cute little figure. But Sheree look like a, 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 um, a okay looking um, uh, a okay looking transvestite to me. Okay, and I have seen enough of them. Yeah, I just seen transvestites look just like her. And I'm just being honest. I just seen a couple of drag queens that got that long face like that, like a orangutan. Yeah, she looked just, mm -hmm. yeah. Sheree can pass for a horse to me, okay? So, I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, as far as her dating the guy, who was the guy with the landing strip in his hair? I don't understand. He's a black, he's a black, uh, doctor or something. I need to know why his hair looked like that. I mean, they got some nice lace fronts for men, too. I just seen them. Oh, y'all see? Y'all don't know. Oh, the hair game. I got the hair game down, for real. Don't get it twisted, because you see only we have a couple of hairs. Yeah, I know about hair a little bit. Yeah. Before I got pregnant, I was in hair school. Didn't finish all of it, but I went long enough to know a lot about hair. Okay? Makeup, hair, all that. Because they teach you all that in cosmetology school. You had to have a certain amount of hours to get your nail certification, your makeup artist license, all that kind of stuff. Okay? So, yeah, he needs a good lace front for a man. Man, because, it, yeah, it's he had like... Don't y'all remember that little thing that was in um the Grinch movie that had the two things on the side? Like, if he let his head grow up a little bit, Ned, are you laughing at me? If you if he let his hair grow out a little bit, he got like these little little puffs on the side, and then the middle was like balding. What the? And it was like an X curl on top of that. That's like eight different styles. He had a reverse mohawk. Okay. Then he had afro puffs, and then he had an S curl that was like Luther Vandross back in the day, went wasn't quite all the way curled. Like it was like curled. But not all the way curled over, right? <laughs> that ain't stupid. Yeah. It wasn't all the way curled over. And then, like, and then he, like, tried to lick his lips and stuff. And, like, like, I, Sheree, you should have been more worried. Because she was worried about because he took her to the hood spot. And the, I guess that was to try to prove that he down to earth. Or whatever. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Um... But I would have been worse. She was also focused on. I know he can't. He sent for a car for me and, and took me to the hood. You shouldn't be worried about the way he took you to the hood. I'm more worried about his his hairline protruding to the back of his head, only in the middle though. Like that's what I'm worried about. I want to know how he got selective male baldness. That's what I'm saying. And I say selective male baldness because. How your baldness going like only want to be in the center of your head, and then you got like mad new growth on the side. I don't. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if he didn't did that on purpose to like draw attention to himself, because obviously it's doing that. Um, I don't know. I don't know because y'all know Dr. Miracle worked real good. I think he didn't put like Dr. Miracle on the sides. And like came up short in the middle. All right, in this. All right. Anyway, yeah. So I think, um, yeah, Sheree, she just gets on my nerves because 
Sheree is snooty, but let me tell you how Sheree gay. Sheree's snooty, but Sheree gonna try to like get more people to like her. So this season, I think she gonna tone the snootiness down. That, or even she know we knows that she ain't got that much money like she used to, and she don't want nobody to point it out. So her tactic is, I don't want nobody to point out that I ain't got that much money now. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring it down a notch to be a little bit more approachable, a little bit more social, pretend that I like people. Yeah, I think that's what she's going to do. Okay, I think that's her M.O. Which is a good M.O. if you really think about it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Anyway, um, NeNe big Amazon tail. NeNe about 8 feet tall, y'all. And she determined to put these 8 feet, um, 8 inch heels on, to, on top of that. The thing is about NeNe. I'm not saying I don't like these girls. I'm just telling you like how they irritate me. It's a difference between not liking and irritating. You see what I'm saying? Like, let me give you an example. Chuck irritates me a lot. But I still like him. You understand what I'm saying? There's a difference. Nene irritates me a lot. But I still like her. Do you see what I'm saying? Those housewives girls, they irritate me. A whole lot. But some of them I still like. And Nene is on that list. She irritates me because Nene is an instigator. I ain't gonna lie. Nene like a little drama up in her life. Nene like a little drama. And even if she don't like it in her life, she like it around her. You understand? Y'all know what I'm talking about that watch the show. Nene like to have a little bit of drama around her because it make her feel alive or something. It make her feel like she back in the strip club like she used to be. Oh, don't think she wasn't in the strip club, y'all. Y'all seen her on that pole that season when that breast popped out and she didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't make it like y'all forgot because I ain't forgot. Okay? But she is like eight feet tall. Um, This ain't no joke. And I'm not trying to be funny. But can somebody tell me what's wrong with her eye? It's her eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Y'all just heard Pooty. Pooty so much on punk, y'all. That's ridiculous. Whenever I laugh real loud, Pooty Pooty runs out the room and it's blind. He told me stop, y'all heard him. That boy is crazy. He is only like 19 months and he be acting like this, y'all. Y'all don't know. But for real, can somebody tell me what's wrong with her eye? I think one of her eyelashes is too heavy because don't y'all know how we put our eyelashes on and then when we when we step back and look in the mirror, sometimes one of them down a little too low. Cause her eye like this. Alright, y'all ignorant. I ain't even dealing with y'all no more. Anyway, I just wanted to give y'all the video on my thought of the housewives. And I'll probably be doing this if requested every week. I'll start watching the whole show. And that night I will do a video on it. So I will see you guys later. I told Daddy to take out um, some frozen pork chops that I was going to cook today. But he forgot to take them out. So he had to go get us Chinese food. <laughs> so um, tomorrow we will be cooking. Um, and then we got, oh my gosh. My husband then volunteered to do this, y'all. We got a whole 15 passenger van worth of children to take the um, trick or treat. And we going all out, y'all. We going to the good part. I live in the good part. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm talking about the real good part, where the big time houses is. They be giving you like five whole candy bars per person that come to the door. <laughs> so we taking everybody up there. They go back. Look at them. They brought a whole van. That's ignorant. <laughs> anyway, love y'all so much. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Be blessed.